Previously on Demystifying AI Strategy in Plain English, a detective story. After realizing the strength of Moriarty's AI system, you, Sherlock, and Ada decided to set Bethesda Bookstore apart by building a community-focused, personalized experience. But then, Moriarty made a tempting offer. He would sell you his powerful AI system at a discount if you agreed to abandon your plans to build your own AI. Now, you must decide whether to accept Moriarty's offer. Bethesda Bookstore buzzes with anticipation. You've chosen to build an in-house author-curator AI agent, staying true to your mission of a community-driven bookstore rather than buying Moriarty's pre-built AI. Just as you sit down to finalize the AI solution design, Ada rushes into the room, her face pale. Sherlock's missing, but he left us a note. She hands you a cryptic note that reads, I need time. Don't look for me. Your heart sinks. Sherlock, your guide through every strategic decision, has disappeared at the most critical moment. Ada quickly composes herself. We've got to keep moving. Moriarty's not exactly sitting around sipping tea waiting for us to catch up. You take a deep breath. All right, let's get to work. Before any AI implementation can begin, it's essential to have the right team in place. Ada, your brilliant data scientist, is at the center, but she can't do it all on her own. Imagine the AI product as a restaurant. Think of me as the chef, experimenting with new recipes. I need a team to make it all work. She brings in Nisha, the cloud architect. I'm the one making sure the kitchen has the best equipment to handle any rush. Darius, the machine learning engineer, introduces himself. I take Ada's recipes and make sure they can be cooked perfectly for any number of customers, whether it's one or a hundred. Then there's Lara, the user experience designer. I'll make sure our customers enjoy the dining experience and feel right at home. As the team gathers, Ada outlines the vision. Our goal is to build an author curator AI agent that can one, host book club discussions in the style of a specific author. Two, uncover literary insights. And three, provide personalized book recommendations. Here are our objectives and key results, OKRs, to measure how effectively we deliver these new features. Objective one, increase customer engagement of book club discussions. Key results, achieve a number of 200 active participants per month. Objective two, enhance user satisfaction of literary insights. Key results, reach an average reading duration of 10 minutes or more with an average upvote downvote ratio of four to one or higher. Objective three, improve accuracy of personalized book recommendations. Key results, reach a 5% conversion rate of book recommendations to purchases. We will use agile methodology to iterate quickly and the lean startup approach to develop and refine a minimum viable product. Agile is like running a relay race with your team. Instead of sprinting the whole marathon alone, you pass the baton after each lap. Every sprint is a quick dash where we build build a small piece of the product, check if it works, and then hand it off for feedback. If we stumble, we can adjust before the next lap. The lean startup methodology created by Eric Ries is like baking a cake. Instead of starting with a complex five-layer cake, you begin with a simple cupcake, the minimum viable product, MVP. You gather early customer feedback on the cupcake to learn what works and what doesn't. This way, you avoid wasting time and resources on a full-blown five-layer cake that no one wants. With the goals defined and the methodology clear, the team dives into building the MVP. Nisha is tasked with setting up the cloud infrastructure. Using a restaurant analogy, I'm configuring the kitchen facilities so that everything will run smoothly, no matter how many customers we serve. Once the cloud is ready, Darius begins fine-tuning two small AI models based on the writings of Jane Austen and Ernest Hemingway. I'm making sure both voices reflect their distinct styles. Austen's wit is like a delicate souffle, while Hemingway's dialogue hits sharp and strong, like a perfectly grilled steak. Me 
Meanwhile, Lara sketches the interface, focusing on immersion. Customers can choose their mood, cozy, dramatic, or serene, and the ambience will adjust with matching lighting, music, and decor, drawing them deeper into the experience. Ada moves on to integrating the Retrieval Augmented Generation rack system, which pulls in real-time literary discussions from various sources. By connecting the RAG system, the AI will stay up to date with live literary conversations and offer fresh insights. The team then shifts its focus to the recommendation system, training it on customer sales data and book descriptions to deliver personalized suggestions. With all the elements in place, Ada pulls everything together into a seamless AI agent. We are all set. Voices are fine-tuned, real-time insights are ready, and those personalized recommendations, they're like a custom tasting menu just for you. The lunch day for the first AI-powered book club discussion has arrived, and Bethesda Bookstore is packed with curious customers. You greet them at the entrance, feeling the weight of your team's expectations. As the crowd settles in, the screen flickers, and Jane Austen's voice fills the room. Good evening. Shall we discuss Pride and Prejudice? She says, a bit formal but unmistakably Austin. The room falls into stunned silence and then whispers erupt. Is this really the voice of Jane Austen? Someone murmured, their voice a mix of awe and doubt. Jane carries on, unfazed. Let's begin with Mr. Darcy, his pride, his transformation. What do you think? Some lean in, eager to discuss but others are skeptical. This doesn't feel right. It's too unnatural. A man in the back says, arms crossed. Just then, Jane's voice glitches. Shall we discuss, discuss, discuss pride and prejudice? The repetition hangs in the air like a broken record. Your heart races as Ada and Darius frantically type at their laptops, trying to fix the glitch. The crowd murmurs, whispers of disappointment spreading. Is this some kind of a joke? One man grumbles, pushing back his chair. I knew this tech stuff won't work! Another voice adds, frustration thick in their tone. You can feel the unraveling. You had dreamed of this moment, imagined it perfectly. But now, customers are heading for the door, frustration etched on their faces. Is your vision falling apart? Then, a steady voice cuts through the noise. Wait. I think we're being too hard on the AI, says a young woman near the back, standing with her hands slightly raised. I know it's not perfect, but isn't this kind of cool? Imagine what's possible in the future, right? The murmurs quiet down. A few heads nod cautiously, and the tension begins to ease. Someone whispers, She's right. This could go somewhere. Jane's voice moves out, the glitch gone. Apologies, as I was saying, much like Mr. Darcy's transformation, trying something new can be uncomfortable at first, but it often leads to unexpected growth. Slowly, the conversation picks up again, more cautiously this time. The lively discussion resumes, and a sense of relief washes over you. As the session ends, you thank everyone, realizing this AI-powered experiment is a journey, not a destination. There will be hurdles, technical challenges, and moments of doubt. But for every skeptic in the room, there's someone willing to embrace the vision. And that gives you hope. Just as you allow yourself a moment to breathe, the door slams open. Sherlock strides in, his face set with grim determination. He says, I am back, and so is Moriarty. A chill runs down your spine. As Sherlock continues, his voice low and tense. He's targeting the system with classic AI risks. Bias, hallucination, toxicity, and even a potential data security breach. Moriarty's AI, Sebastian, will exploit every weakness in our AI prototype, and we need to fortify the system immediately. You feel the ground shift beneath you. Everything you've worked for, everything the bookstore stands for, could crumble with one calculated strike. Moriarty has made his move. Now it's time to make yours.